Good day guys, welcome back to Deco Gravity Design Tutorial. Today, I want to uh, quickly show you how you can design a restaurant's logo using your Android smartphone with the help of uh, PC Lab and how exactly you can apply the color and how you can transform it into a 3D using your photo P. As a beginner, I believe this will help you a long way because I'm going to combine the skills of a uh, feature inside the PC lab together to achieve this particular design by using mask and uh, photo P. Without wasting much of our time, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update a new channel, a new video like this. Comment and likes. God bless you as you do. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is to click on our test, then click on edit. So after click on edit, type G, letter G. Then come to your font selections and uh, choose Mokta font. Mokta font. M-U-K-T-A font. Although when you download, you can actually download this font on the their font and you can search it directly on your Google. Just type Mokta font free download and it will bring it. Just follow the step and they get it download and extract it to your phone. So without wasting much of our time, after type that and you choose your font, your, this particular font, then you increase it exactly the way I did my own. Then the next thing you are going to do, put it as one side and come to your shapes. Select your rectangle shapes and you click on radius and take the radius to 100 to make it form a circle. After that, come to where your color is, give it a black color. Then come to your relative position and position it to the center. The first, your letter G, click on front to bring it to the front and use your hand manually to position it to the center. Remember, this font cannot be centralized. Why? Because of the nature of the font. Look at it. If I want to centralize it the way I did that, it won't centralize because of the way the font is. But we have to use our hands to what to arrange it to make it centralized. So after that, the next thing that you are going to do, click on your grid. The grid will allow you to position it to the center. Then after you click on the grid, then you use your hand manually to centralize it. So after you centralize it, then we can now merge it together by open our layer. So just click like this, exactly like this. Click exactly like this. Then manually click exactly like this. Click like that. So the next thing after we are able to be sure that everything is being centralized, then you can actually come to your uh, layer, then select the two and match it. You can now reduce the size if you want. But before that, the next thing we are going to do is to come to our shape, click on your radius to select the shape to form a circle, then reduce the size and position it on top of this letter G to cover the open space so after you are able to do that then you can actually what you can actually match the two together now everything the letter G without the open space has been matched now the next thing that we are going to do is to go to our gallery then on our select this particular spoon we call it a grid spoon for food then you can actually download this on your what on your Google, I mean, or your uh, Google as well, or you can download it at the description of this video. So, after that, then you position it here, just position it here. You can actually increase the size and position it here. Good. So now that it was like this, you can now centralize it since everything has been matched. Centralize this as well. So if this is not working, you use your hand to do that. Remember, and um, it should be here. Everything should be here. 
it should be here good so after we do that let me move it a little bit so after we do that the next thing that we're going to do is to come to our mask then after enable the mask come down to under action the third button click on it and reduce it it's called scale then you scale it to make it small so that you'll be able to use your hand to move it after that the bezier mode is already on click on this and go the icon for you to be able to move it to where you want to perform the operation now i want it to be here then to be there then after that under the bezier mode click on action one the bezier mode then you now can use your hand to do the operation the way you want it to be so you see the way i'm cutting it out look at the way i'm doing it i'm cutting some parts out i use the zoom button to uh, zoom it out for me to be able to see it clearly so after that you use it i want to cut out some parts so that it will look like maybe part of the spoon is under and some is at the top that one will be able to it will show like that because of the background i select so after that just click ok and check there is still what there is still little mistake there let's check there is still little mistake there let's check it is okay like this so it will look like some is what is on the ground so now we are good to go so now click ok then the next thing is to merge the two together after merging we can reduce the size so after reduce the size come to your watch come to the right of the brand name just type go food go food then come to your phone selections and select leak spatter boot like sparta boot font then use your hand to increase the size don't forget to use your relative position to centralize the logo then you use your hand to move this and use your hand to i mean the relative position to center it if it is not too centered i mean if it is not too big enough you can actually increase it remember your branding must be noticeable because that is the feature you are trying to communicate along with the logo so after that you are able to achieve this let's see whether this is okay if it is not okay you can actually change the font if you want but instead i would rather reduce this instead of me to change the font i would rather reduce the logo because at time the font i mean the uh, uh the brand name must be able to at least define so now use your spacing bar space it a little after spacing use your ready position to still centralize it so now after doing that let's use our this we have three three it shouldn't be here this thing is not really right let's move it because we have three three i think it's okay like this so now good so after that then we'll do another uh i mean sorry we we'll, we'll write our slogan i mean sorry but part of our brand name restaurant restaurant so the restaurant we cannot select any kind of a font that we want let's look at the font that we want here if this is okay good so the next thing that we're going to do is to go to our line spacing then we'll space it let's space it reduce a little bit then we give it our the boot so having achieved that the next thing that we are going to do is to make sure that everything is being positioned very well position everything very well and the space we maintain the alignment and element of our graphics so after that after we are able to do this sorry let me lock this let me give you a color i want to give you a color black then let it go so this one i want to give you color black as well i want to give you color black 
So add to that, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to save with transparent background. Save with transparent background. Then I will still save with white background. As you can see, you see how amazing it is? Then you can save this with your with white background. Hey guys, welcome back. So let's quickly transform the logo we just made on our PC lab right now to uh, 3D. Let's present it using a 3D mockup. So this is our Photopea app. Just go to www.photopea.com. Then this interview will show. It will display. So after that, just click on the file at the left hand side. Then click on open. Click on file. If your own did not have a file, make sure you click on download. Download you will have that having the two. Then locate where the mockup is. So my own I save it on my drive. So you can actually download the mockup at the description of this video. So right now I'm looking at uh, where the mockup is. So I'm looking for the mockup. So I've seen it. So load the mockup and wait for a while for it to load. After loading. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to click on our layer. So after clicking on the layer, then click tap on uh, your logo here, double tap it. Then you see uh, 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 the first layer that pop up, just click the eye icon beside it to hide it, then click on layer to be back. Now click on the file at the left hand side, click on open and place, then click on file again. Now let's locate where we save our uh, design. Let's locate where we save it. This is it. Then you wait for it to load. Wait for it. So it's actually load now. So the next thing we're going to do is to stretch it out, as you can see. So I'm trying to stretch it out. So I'm trying to stretch it out. I think it's okay like this. Let, uh, good. Now I click on the file and click on save with smart objects. Allow it to load. So now the our work is ready. Now click on the file, click on uh, export as PNG. Double tap it and wait. Then it will bring this page. The quality let it be hundred. Then save. Download. Now let's open our design and see how it look. So as you can see, you can actually see how our design look like. That is exactly how to make a. Uh, 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 restaurants logo and how you can transform and mock it up I may mean, do the mock up on your photo pay. don't forget as I said earlier to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here uh, don't forget as well to hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel with a new video thank for watching God bless you